What's going on beautiful people? Russell Klein is here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to hack your photos to create angel wings without using Photoshop using these bad boys. Let's go! Before you get any too farther into this video, make sure you watch my five things you need to have in order to do long exposure portraits or light painting video and that should be uh, and the little I button thing that's at the top there. And so make sure you watch that first. If you have watched that video, then in this video, this is the Feather Blade and the Universal Connector from LightPaintingBrushes.com. Now, they this the blade itself runs around $40. One of these costs 20, three costs 50, so up to you on how many you want to get. I end up losing them a lot, so I recommend just getting multiple and it's good to have if you have multiple blades and other tools. So my my camera settings for these angel wings was ISO 100, f2.8, and a shutter speed of 19 seconds to 25 seconds. If you don't have a wireless trigger, then I recommend setting your camera on 30 second exposure. And so let's get into making the wings, here we go. So as you can see here, I am moving back and forth with the same hand going on her back. Now I'm moving slightly down every time I do this in order to create these wings. And then I light it from the front, and this is what that looks like. And now here's a version of me from the back, just showing you how I'm going to her back every time. So this first set of angel wings that I just showed you, I recommend for beginners if you've never done angel wings before. These are the ones that I started with. And the next couple that I'm going to show you are more complicated versions, and I don't recommend them until you've mastered this first version. But, to give you something to chew on, here are the next couple of them. So just like the last wings that we did, I'm always starting from the center of her back, but I'm not necessarily moving farther down. Just with these angel wings, I am watching through my peripherals where the strobe was, and then slowly working my way in and always going to the same part of the back in order to create the shape. And with this, I'm not using a flash, but I'm using a flashlight to light her. This is an MT-22C. And this is how this comes out. Now here's a back version doing the same thing and you can see that I'm going to the same part of her back when I get back to that shape once I'm done doing it. And I'm using my same hand when I do this. I just find it easier than switching hands, but it's up to you on what works best for you. Right, the flashlight, like I said before, that I'm using to light Heather is an MT-22C. Now this is a flashlight that allows me to adjust the brightness so I don't overexpose my model, which I really enjoy and is perfect for this kind of light painting where a flash might not work or if you're somewhere else and you don't have a thing to set it up, you can use a flashlight to do that and I find it to be super useful and that's what I started with. So this is the flashlight that I use for that. For these last set of wings, I like to call them the feather plume because it's kind of like a peacock. And I'm doing the same thing that we just did in the previous angel wings but upside down. Where I'm starting from the middle of her back and moving out. Now when I do these, I'm generally taking at least one step out to get my farthest version out. And I find that that works best and then you just slowly just bring it in. And this is the kind of effect you can get from that. It's super hard to get it symmetrical but you can get it pretty close. And this is it from the back doing the same thing so you can see how I'm moving my feet on that first one and how I step out and then it just slowly gets smaller and smaller and of course it always helps if your model wears a dress to hide your feet when you're doing this sort of thing and wearing as much black as you can is never gonna hurt either if you're interested in purchasing one of these blades I'll leave a link in the description below and if you like this video, hit the like button. If you would subscribe, that would mean a lot to me, but I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. And if you want to hit the notification bell to get updates when I post more of these tutorials and things like that, go ahead and do the thing. And I hope to see your beautiful faces in the next video. Okay, bye!